in this check my grader is going to be on the outside i'm going to give them a left turn signal right turn signal four-way hazard uh, since my lights are on i have my low beam on so i'm going to press my high beam it's going to go from high beam to low beam and then he's going to also see my clearance lights the clearance light on this vehicle in the front are amber we on to the rear the instructor is going to go to the rear of the vehicle he's going to be checking for my right turn signal in the rear left turn signal four-way hazards in this one i'm going to hit the brakes and my brake lights are going to illuminate uh, the rear clearance lights in the rear are going to be red he's also going to check those out once i have the lights on they are automatically going to go on and he's going to move when he's done seeing the lights he's going to move into the passenger side and he's going to sit right next to me where i'm going to go into my third step i'm going to latch my seat belt demonstrate that the belt latches and adjusts properly what i'm going to tell him is my seat belt is not ripped or frayed the seat belt is securely mounted now buckle my seat belt up my next step is going to be the air governor test the air pressure is at or below 90 psi after checking your psi that it is 90 psi or below you want to do a safety start you have to check your transmission make sure it's in neutral uh, make sure you have a wheel chalk and your brake is set i'll tell the examiner my abs light is illuminated and it turns off my air governor will cut out between 120 to 140 psi and then when my air governor does cut out i will tell him where it the PSI is at. Air pressure was building up. My air governor cut out at 130 PSI. That concludes my air governor test. Step number five is going to be the air leakage test. Your automatic transmission, keep it in neutral, keep your foot off the brakes, turn the engine off, turn the key on, release the truck parking brake valve. You need to push it in to release it. It's going to stay in for the next two steps. Tell the examiner, I'm going to check that my vehicle does not lose more than 3 PSI in one minute for a single vehicle. I will then apply my foot on the brake and hold it for one full minute. At this time, I have already pulled out my watch or my timer and set it for a minute. I will hold my foot on the brake I will turn on my watch and I would wait for one whole minute. At the duration of the end of the minute, I will hold it for a couple of seconds. Then I would stop the timer, release my foot off the brake and tell the examiner, my vehicle did not lose more than three PSI in one minute. Step number six, low air warning check. I'm going to check my low air warning device. It must activate at 55 PSI or above. I will fan the brakes and lower my PSI. Once the light or the buzzard activates, the low air warning buzzard or light activated at, and I will tell them 60 PSI, because that is when my buzzard on this truck activates. My next check is gonna be the parking brake valve check. My next check is going to be the parking brake valve check. It must pop out at approximately 40 PSI. I will fan the brakes until the parking brake valve pops out. My parking brake valve popped out at 30 PSI. So this was a pass or fail. Either you did everything exactly the way I just did it right now or you didn't. If you missed a step or if you forgot a step, then uh, the whole test is over from this point forward. You don't move into step number eight. Next thing you want to do is a, a safety start. Uh, you want to check your transmissions in neutral. You want to check your parking brake is engaged because it did pop out in step number seven. Now, if it's engaged, then you're in, you go on to the next one and just go ahead and turn on the vehicle and build up the air pressure your governor will cut out between 120 to 140 psi as your air builds up you want to show him your dashboard indicators and your gauges the first thing you want to do is actually just turn on your lights just like earlier i showed you where the light switch was at turn on your left turn signal and then show him from inside the cab the right turn signal the high and low beam 
Uh, your lights must be on in order for him to see this light from inside the cab. It's your high beam and low beam. And then next, you want to locate your four-way hazards. Locate them and go ahead and hit them. And that'll get you your four-way hazards. As soon as you're done with your lights, you're going to go into your gauges. The first one is going to be your oil pressure gauge. Uh, it's proper operating level. And then you're going to identify your uh, water temperature. And the water temperature is at proper operating level. Uh, right in this general area, you have a regen light. And the regen light is off. This is your depth gauge, and your depth gauge is above an eighth of a tank full. Your pressure is building up to the proper operating level, 120 to 140 PSI. Here's one that I miss a lot of times, but it says volt. And you want to say that your voltmeter is charging at proper operating level. My air governor cut out at 130 PSI. Step number nine is going to be my brake checks. You're going to do these while the engine is still running. The first one is going to be the parking brake check. Automatic, you need to put your vehicle in drive and push on the throttle lightly. That's going to accelerate the truck. The truck should not move because your parking brake is engaged right now. And tell the examiner parking brake works properly. And then you can go on to the next check. Your next check is going to be the service brake. Now you're going to release the parking brake valve. So you're going to push it in and that's going to release it. Your vehicle will move forward slowly at, two, at about 2 miles per hour. Apply your brakes easy. Loosen your brake grip on your steering wheel when you are applying the brake. Basically loosening your hands. And then uh, your vehicle will come to a complete stop. You're going to tell the examiner, brakes work properly. No pull side to side. Then you're going to put your vehicle in neutral. Set the parking brake on. So you're going to engage it. It means to pull the parking brake up or out. And to shut off the vehicle with the key on. For this check, you want to hit the fan switch all the way through. You want to hit the defrost and your heater switch. You want to play with all of them, and each one of them, you're going to say it's working properly. Fire extinguisher is properly charged and securely mounted. Reflective triangles are present, and this vehicle is equipped with fuses. Mirrors and windshields. Mirrors are clean and adjustable windshields clean. There are no illegal stickers or obstructions. There are no damage and securely mounted. Wiper blades and arms are secured and not damaged. Wiper blades secured and not damaged. Wipers operate smoothly and washer operates. Go ahead and demonstrate. The last is just the horn. My horn works properly. It was not equipped with a an air horn, only a city horn.